Hi guys! So this is a little bit of lost footage, if you will. Well, not really lost. So this is what happened. I had I was in the I was in the zone. Okay, so I did I did a couple videos and then um YouTube decided to um give me the business. And when I say that, it means that it took the whole weekend and then some to upload my giveaway video. Um, that was horrifical. So like I had filmed that video, which was, you know, pretty good in size. And then I filmed the next one that was also pretty good in size. And because the first one wouldn't upload, I was stuck. Um, there was no more storage on my phone. I was a sitting duck. And YouTube was laughing, ha ha ha, in my face. So anyways, once the first one decided to work, then um, I could actually delete that one off and then move from there. But yeah, I was, um, I was stuck. So then after, like I said, after I was able to upload both of those, then I was like, well, I still want to go back and like fill in these daily pages from um, you know, from this week and I wanted to film it for you guys. So I just waited. I, I, I waited. I did this. I did this for you. The love is real. <laughs> Speaking of love, look at this beautiful picture of mama. Is she not the cutest? But let me tell you, wait till I tell you what she did. Um, okay. Let me get it together. Where are we? So we are on... Looks like, let me, I mean, I see what I'm doing. I see her. Okay. So Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So first let me circle back. Let me tell you the first story, which I don't even believe I got to tell y'all. We had pizza on, this was the, this would have been the Sunday before so she had, she had found a cauliflower, because we're trying to do better, right? We're trying to eat better. She found a cauliflower pizza at Aldi, I believe it was. Um, but it was only cheese and spinach, which I would have been fine with that. But she decided to zhuzh it up by adding um, her own pepperoni, which, hey, okay, that's fine. Like, I'm down, I'm down for that too. Um, so she, you know, like I said, she bought the pepperoni separate and like a little, it comes in like a little pouch. And so, um, she puts the pepperoni on there, you know, and puts the, puts the pizza in the, in the oven to do its thing. Right. Um, meanwhile, I come in, you know, I get off work, I go straight to her house. I walk in and it smells amazing. Like it smells like a, a pizzeria. Okay, so I'm excited. I'm like, yes, pizza. Okay, what, what, how much time do we have left? And she's like, mm, well, um, and I'm like, oh dear. Now, let me tell you something about mama. She is old school. She doesn't measure anything, and that includes time. She's one of those, like, I just know when I look at it. Um, but we are cooking a pizza that is cauliflower crust, thin crust at that. So I'm thinking you might want to follow the directions on the box. Like, it's not a suggestion. It's like, hey, you should probably do it this way. Otherwise, it's going to come out like a brick. So anyways, mama's like, no, nah, I'm too cool for that. So she puts the pizza in and also she doesn't change the temperature. So let's say the pizza was supposed to be mm, 425. Um, yeah, mama cooks everything on 350 and just wings it like a wing and a prayer. Here we go. So um, anyway, I get there and I'm like, is it ready? And she's like, mm, well, and then she takes the pizza out and she's like looking at it and she like lifts up the crust and she's like, what, what do you think? Do you think it looks done? And I'm like, ma'am, I mean, to me, I don't know. I'm not a pizza expert, but if I were a pizza expert, just looking at it, it doesn't look done yet. Like it doesn't. And so she's like, okay, well, let me put it back in for a few minutes. And in my head, I'm just like, oh, somebody come get her. Anyways, so she puts the pizza in for some more minutes and then um, takes it out. And naturally, it looks like um, it's been sunbathing for a long time. 
but I'm hungry. I'm starving at this point. So it's going in my mouth. Like it's, I'm going to, it's going to get eaten. I'm like, it's fine. She's like, I can make another one. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We're okay. We're not going to waste food. I'm not, I'm not crazy like that. Like, let's just give it a chance. You know, it didn't look that bad. So we take it, we go sit down, you know, we start watching our show and I eat the first piece and I'm just like, it's fine it's, it's not great. It's, but it's fine. It's, it's, it's going to work. Okay. Um, so then I get into the second piece and I'm halfway through my second piece and I feel something, um, I feel like some, something wrong is, is, is in my mouth that should not be. Um, so I, I proceed to take out what I feel in my mouth that feels like wrong. And it is one of those little, do y'all know what those little desiccant packets are that, you know, they come in like, usually like lunch meat or pepperoni packages, maybe, um, that says do not eat all over it. Um, yeah, so that was in my mouth. Um, y'all's mama baked that, baked that into the pizza. Um, and I, I spit it and I'm like, ma'am, what are, are you trying to kill me? <laughs> and she's like, what is that? And I'm like, ma'am, this is a desiccant. It was in my mouth. It was in the piece of pizza that I was eating. What the heck? I thought you loved me. You birthed me. I thought you loved me. She's like, I don't know how that, I don't know how that got in there. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That's terrible. And then that was just kind of it. And I'm just like, mm, okay, that's how you treat your, your, your child. All right. Well, okay. So anyway, like I went on from that, like, okay, like let's move on. Um, God will handle her when it's time. Okay. So, um, anyways, the more I kept thinking about it, I was like, you know, it's strange, but this pizza, like each, I remember now, like each piece of pizza, you know, the pepperonis, there was like two pepperonis per, um, piece of real estate on the pizza, if you will. Like it wasn't just single pepperonis. There were like two. So not only did she try to kill me, but this thing was like this desiccant packet was like, I'm sure it was wedged in between like two pieces of pepperoni. So it was like hidden in there. So this is like, you know, when you watch true crime and you see the cute little old ladies on there and they're like, I would never kill anybody. I would never poison my family. Yeah. Um, look around y'all look around, look at, look at your familia and make sure that you know who you're, who you're dealing with. So that was pizza number one back that Sunday. So then Wednesday, which is the, the page that I just filmed or filmed that I just filled in the little pictures of her cutie self. Um, yeah, so we get to Wednesday and, and so now she's got a whole, she's got a whole new pizza and I'm still kind of like, PTSD from the last pizza, right? She's like, I did it this time. And I actually look at the oven and she changed the temperature, y'all. Like she actually did it. I, I, I was shooketh. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay. Yes, queen, get it. So then, um, yet again, well, this time I went and sat down for Cause she was like, go sit down, go sit down. Like, I'm going to finish up in here. I'm going to clean a couple things. And then by then the pizza will be ready. And I'm like, Oh God, Jesus. Okay. Um, so I'm sitting in the living room and she is like, um, well, and I hear her and she's like, um, I don't know. Maybe it's, mm, I don't think it's done. And I'm like, Oh gosh, ma'am. I said, did you, no, you didn't. You didn't set a timer, did you? Because why would you? No, but I know is I know specifically that I put the pizza in at 513. And so it's been the amount of minutes. Like she looked at the clock and now she's looking at her watch. She's like, I know it's been the appropriate time. But I'm looking at this pizza. We flip it up and it's not done. And I, I'm like, no. I'm like, just maybe set a timer for like three more minutes and we'll see what happens. So she does that. And, um, after she takes the pizza out, it looks great. Like it looks good. Okay. Like I'm like, Oh, I'm excited for this one. All right. So then she's like, I have a confession. And I was like, Oh, I'm about to call 911. I'm like, my mom has two birds and I taught one of the birds to say, uh, call 911. So I'm like, Zazu call 911. So now the birds over there, 911 call 911. And I'm like, what did you do? what am I about to get into now? And she was like, 
So the first time I put the pizza in, um, I forgot to take the cardboard piece out from underneath. So it was, it was cooking in there like that. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Whoever Betsy is, somebody get her. Um, what? So not only did she put the pizza in there, she put it on the cardboard, which can't that like explode or blow up or, um, catch fire or, or maybe I have cardboard poisoning in my system now. Um, like if I were to have a child tomorrow, it would be a box, a, a cardboard, something. I don't know. Um, so, so she admitted it and I'm like, well, I mean, I lived through eating, halfway eating the desiccant thing. So, I mean, I guess what's a little cardboard? Like, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Let's do it. Um, so, we ate it. And it was it was actually a really good pizza. But, yet again, I'm still a little PTSD. So, every day, like, when, let's say, like, I have a little stomach ache. Or, I don't, you know, feel so hot. Um... I had a little headache today. I'm like, it's her. She she's slowly she's slowly trying to take me out. Um, but she is cute. And if you did see that picture of her, I took that picture at um, I want to say it was our friend's wedding. I think it was her friend's son. Yeah, that we actually met at the gym. Surprising enough. I love, I love it. Like we meet so many people there. But anyways, she looks like a queen and, but look at that cute little face. Don't let her fool you. So that's why I added in that picture, um, back on the other page on Wednesday of the little granny with the spoon. And she's like given the evil eye, um, in my head, I see her and I'm like, I see you, like I'm watching you and, um, I'm going to see if I can find all the antidotes for, uh, all the poisons. Cause I feel like I, I feel like I need to keep a stash in my purse at all times. Um, yeah. So then I proceeded to go on the Googles and just search all the pictures of, I think I typed in sneaky granny or evil granny or, and so this is like all that came up. So <laughs> I, I got to use that picture, which was fun. And then I found this other picture where I feel like I've seen this little granny too with her little hat and her scarf with that face like, mm -hmm. um, because let's see, Thursday, um, our girl at work, she actually left for, um, Korea. So one of the pharmacists that I used to work with at another job, we're all like, it's a small world in healthcare here. Um, so yeah, she went to go hang with her. She lives or her, um, her aunt actually still lives in Korea. So our friend Grace was over there hanging out with auntie and then was like, Hey Lily, you know, if you want to come hang out, I'm here for like a week. And she was like, sure. Why not? And I'm like, I'm jealous. Cause you get to eat all the kimchi fresh homemade. But anyways, I'm not salty. Um, so then, <laughs> um, it was the end of the day, Thursday y'all like 450, 455 doorbell rings. Um, my boss gets the door and this random guy shows up and he's like, yeah, I'm here to, uh, I'm here to fix your router. Um, it's, it's just, you know, it, it shouldn't take that long, but I'm just here to work after hours. And my boss is like, um, excuse me, first of all, who are you and who sent you and who's your contact? And because nobody told him, nobody told us there's no emails, uh, no communicado, nothing. And he's like, uh, like, um, yeah, I need to verify this first of all. And also we close at five. We are a small branch and we have, you know, we have a schedule and we don't stay after hours. <laughs> We're not like a huge hub of any, of any, by any means. And the guy's just kind of like, and I know that his job was just to come and do what he was told to do, but he's just kind of like, uh, uh, okay. So I'm sitting there like, uh, one of our other girls left. So it's only Andy and I there. And in my head, my, like my brain goes to true crime. Like I'm like, okay, this rando guy comes in at the end of the day. Um, he looks about six, two, um, tattoo on the right arm looks like fire. Um, you know, he's, you know, uh, medium complected, uh, curly hair, you know, I'm in my head, I'm doing all this. Right. Uh, um, <laughs> And then, so Andy gets a hold of his contact on the phone and he's like, yeah, yeah, actually we sent, you know, Trevor, whoever he was, 
we send him out there and yeah, he's going to work on the router or something about it, not working, yada, yada, yada. Um, so-and-so reached out to us and yeah, I should only take like an hour and a half. Um, no, I'm so sorry. Thank you for coming out. But you know, he has to go pick up his child. You know, we have lives. This was not known and um, we can't just like let him stay there because he does not have a badge. He's not like affiliated actually with our, <laughs> you know, company. Um, sorry, bro, but we're going to have to reschedule this. So he's completely understanding. They laughed about it, but I like waited until I heard, you know, that this had come to an end <laughs> and then I walked out the door and I was just like, bye boss. Like, have a good night. And I'm looking at the guy and I'm like, I see you. Like, I know, I know what you look like. And, um, don't be trying nothing funny. I mean, I didn't say all that, but in my head, I'm saying it all. Like I, I got, I got you. Uh, so anyway, I'll walk outside, I get in the car and then, um, my boss, he's texting me and he was like, I mean, I feel like I probably should have just sucked it up and just stayed, but no, every time I tell them that this is, you know, uncalled for like this is not right and they don't need to be just you know basically running all over me and I just was like in my head I'm like baby you get it out like vent it up I'm your girl <laughs> and he just we just kind of like went back and forth texting like ha 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 you know no communication um that's that's cute that they think that we don't have lives and you know so it was just some funny like texts back and forth a lot of memes and you know he was just like I'm sorry, I don't mean to vent. And I'm like, if we can't vent to each other, like, who can we vent to? Like, nobody else understands what just happened. So, like, feel free, feel free. <laughs> but um, anyways, that was just like, you know, I don't know. If you work in a small space, but yet you're under, like, the umbrella of a huge company and they think y'all all work the same and there's always somebody there after hours and, oh, yeah, it's no big deal. Um, Yes, it's a big deal. And we don't work for free. So you can come back another day. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that was too much. And I don't know why, but I was just super tired. And um, I just, as much as I wanted to either work out or go for a walk, I just didn't have it in me, y'all. I did not. Um, I'm, I'm going to blame it on the fact that I have desiccant and um, cardboard poisoning. So I just was tired and I didn't feel like doing anything. <laughs> So I got home and I ordered sushi takeout and I journaled the end for Thursday. <laughs> but yeah, I just love that picture of the lady with the face because that's probably what I was looking like at this guy. Like, mm -hmm. um, you better not try nothing funny. But anyways, so then Friday, Friday the 13th, y'all. How was y'all's Friday the 13th? Did anything crazy happen? I had my oil change scheduled for 7.05, oh my. So we got that handled and I added in a little picture of me sitting chilling in the waiting room. Um, and then I really just kind of wanted to notate, I mean, I, I did already put on there that it's Friday the 13th, you know, for the little header and the, the number sticker, but I wanted to be a little dramatic. Imagine, imagine me being dramatic um, and just put the Friday the 13th, you know, the spooky picture in there as well. Um, we ordered Korean chicken, which was delightful. And then um, one of our other gals was like, well, if we're getting that, we got to get like shrimp lo mein and drunken noodles too. So she kind of went all around the world and got like Chinese food, Korean. It was just, a, it was a good time. So then after work, Hubs and I, we've been trying to um, spend our Costco shop card money. And this was the day I was like, hey, you sweet thing. Meet me at Costco in the parking lot or bust. <laughs> so he did. And we proceeded to go shopping and yes, a shopping spree commenced. It was so much fun. We got the sound bar that we've been wanting looking at. Um, and then it was just kind of one of those where we just went up and down every aisle and was like, do we need this? I don't know. Do we want it? Throw it in the car, babe. It's all baby. You deserve it. You deserve it. <laughs> So, but it was like one of those things where we didn't go ham, but it's like, you know, all the little things or all the kind of clothing items where you're like, yeah, I, I really actually do need some new leggings or like when it comes to my husband, he's so, um, not like me when it comes to the clothing department, like he will have to, um, seriously like 
run out of clothes before he buys anything new for himself. So, um, yeah, he got some new pants and he's like holding them up to himself. Like, what do you think? The Navy or the gray, the Navy or the gray. And I was like, sweetheart, 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 get them both do it. And so he was like, okay. <laughs> so we were just having so much fun. Um, I, uh, where was it? Yeah, I found a little picture of the guy pushing the girl in the cart, and that should have been us. If it wasn't just full of stuff, and when I say stuff, I'm talking like we got um, a cases of water. Yeah, we party hard. We did get a case of Shinerbach, but I mean, it's just, it was needed. And I mean, we did get our regular groceries, but yeah, we got some little clothing items, um, a few little extra things, um, you know, so it was, it was a good time. And then our sound bar, that's like, so we went home and then we had a little sound bar, um, party. We turned the music up a little bit too loud, probably, um, for about eight minutes. It was basin. Um, I did throw on some good old fashioned, like hip hop and we had to test out the bass. So, I mean, but it was a good time. And then we did, you know, turn it down and, uh, <laughs> um, guess what hubs wanted for dinner, y'all pizza and guess who cooked it me. So you know that it was not poisoned and it was cooked to perfection and it was actually thrilling and very enjoyable. <laughs> so yeah. And then also I added in cause I completely forgot. I had taken a picture when I went to the dealership. Um, they had those world's finest chocolates on the counter and somebody's nephew, little Jimmy, I don't know, somebody was selling them and they had like 10 left. So I had to actually, I had to buy them all because I had to do my part and buy the chocolates and, you know, um, support the kiddos. So yeah, that's my, a picture of my bag and it has all the chocolates in there just filled up. And what else? What else? Oh, and I added in the little cuties at the bottom and just wrote that, um, yeah, we continued watching The Midnight Club. Oh, I actually have not added in the Chocolate um, sticker yet, but I will. But yeah, I just wanted to add in the little cuties at the bottom. And yeah, we're still, oh no, I did add the picture. I'm crazy. So yeah, we. Um, it was a good time. And I think I'm just going to wrap this up here for the most part. Um, I just kind of added an extra piece of tape because it was bothering me how the little top picture was flipping up. Um, but yeah, this was just a fun way to, you know, add some zhuzh to the pages. Um, I really like this take a note style, I do. But if I wanna continue to memory plan the way that I like to memory plan in journal, this is not enough space to add in like my daily stuff and then my pictures and everything too. So y'all, I'm afraid it's going to be back to the, to the Hobonichi cousin for next year, for sure. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all as always. Um, leave a comment and I will see you soon.